Hello there and welcome back to another video. This is the next part inside of the race clicker type game series over here guys And in this part we are going to be making like the click the game speed at the start guys Which is going to be quite interesting before I start anything off there guys and show you all about this I need to quickly tell you guys that I do have a patreon page where you guys can join for the price of only eight pounds a month guys It's quite cheap to be fair um, and with that guys you can download every single roblox studio file Which I have uploaded to roblox guys and from there you can copy and paste the codes into your own game if you guys are struggling or if you guys don't want to write the whole code well guys you can paste in the script into your own game guys so why not and also for them of course you guys can possibly make more than eight pounds worth of robux a month if you guys use these um these files um, and studio scripts and all sorts of stuff guys to make a successful roblox game but let's go ahead and get into it now so guys first things first what you want to do over here is just add a um inside of the startup pack we'll do add a tool so just do this add a tool guys then we are going to add um just in on pot and what we need to call this guys is the handle over here guys we're just going to put call this pot handle just over here guys there we go you know what probably it would be better if i did bring this out into the workspace guys so it's a little bit easier to see anyway guys so here we go we got this pot and this is um this is pretty much the tool guys so what we want to do is kind of resize down the handle and just change a few things to, um about the handle guys so yeah here's our handle this this tiny thing over here guys what we want to do is make sure that this handle is not anchored do not put this as anchored guys but we do want this to be fully transparent so put that to one and also guys we want can collide to be off there we go guys okay so pretty much now we have our handle over here which is quite nice guys to be fair you could just maybe if you want i don't really think the size matters guys but just put like 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 to make like a tiny cube over here guys there we go anyway so as you can see we now have a tool with our handle in pretty much guys what we are gonna do now is drag this into the starter pack and you guys are gonna want to change some stuff into the tool so what we are gonna do right now guys is in the tool and um, we are gonna go ahead and unchecked uh, uncheck can be dropped um i'm fairly certain guys here yeah, unchecked uh, uncheck that and now guys we should be good to go however if we play the game we are gonna see let me quickly start the game over here guys we are gonna see that we have like the the tool you are at the bottom and also whenever we hold it out or uh, well it shows our arm moving up so guys how do we go ahead and get rid of that well i'm going to be showing you guys that right now so what we are going to do is inside of our starter player inside of starter player script guys we're going to add a new script a local script over here guys just call this hide backpack and um, hide backpack just over here guys there we go then next what we are gonna want to do over here is do game dot starter gy um colon set core enabled and then we are gonna do enum dot core gy type and then dot backpack next guys we just want to put this to false and now whenever we join the game we are not gonna go ahead and have a backpack at the bottom as you can see although we do still kind of have the the tool in our inventory anyway guys let me quickly now show you guys what else to do so guys pretty much also if we hold out the tool um stuff like that also happens so pretty much guys i'm gonna be showing you what to kind of do over here um you know what we'll, we'll do that a little bit later on so first what we want to do is just make a force equip on the tool because um we want this to be equipped at all times so how do we go in and do this guys well what we need to do is inside this add a local script then what we are going to do is pretty much this guys we are going to do um okay so essentially all you guys need to do here is do local player and that's going to be equal to game get service players um and then we can just do dot local player i guess guys over here next we are going to do local character um and that's going to be equal to player dot character character just to be here then we are just going to do if not character um or not character dot parent then so i'm pretty, pretty much means guys if we haven't got the character in this line we are going to set the character again to player um not plug in player dot character added and then we're just going to add a simple wait at the end of here there we go guys okay next we want to go ahead and do some stuff over here so pretty much guys all we need to do right now is essentially go ahead and um okay so what we are going to do guys is inside of our replicated storage inside of our um values thing yeah never mind guys we already have can click so what we are going to do right now is this we're going to do local replicated storage um is equal to game get service replicate storage there we go guys and then 
we are gonna go ahead and do here guys um local values is equal to replicate the storage with child values after that we will do local can click is equal to values with child can click after that guys all we need to do here is pretty much um add so we are gonna now wait um so yeah to be fair we'll, we'll just add inside of replicated storage a new remote event and we are gonna call this remote event time to click just over here guys time to click and what we want to do is do local time to click and that's going to be equal to replicate storage width for child time to click next guys we want to do local humanoid um, and that's going to be equal to character wait for child humanoid just over here guys and then we are going to do local tool is equal to script dot parent there we go guys we've got all the variables right now next we are going to do if can click dot value is equal equal to true and um, not not two number is equal equal to true then we are going to do humanoid then equip um humanoid colon equip equip and then tool just to be here guys and inside this inside these brackets you guys want to put the tool next we are going to do um one second guys we are going to do local character and um then we can just over here tool dot equipped um tool tool dot equipped connect function and then inside this guys we'll, we will do um character and that's going to be equal to tool dot um tool dot parent right now guys there we go okay next what we are going to do over here is this we're going to do time to click dot on client event then we are going to do connect function and after that guys we're just going to put in these brackets available um just over here guys this will be for later guys so just don't worry about that for now anyway next we want to do if available is equal equal to true then we are going to do humanoid colon equip um to be fair guys we can probably just copy and paste this line in because say it's having to type it out again who humanoid actually guys we'll copy and paste this whole thing in here we go guys um inside this if statement there we go and then we are going to do else if um available is equal equal to false then we are going to do humanoid colon unequip um une, unequip and then tools just for here as there we go okay so now that we have that bit right now what we are going to go ahead and do next guys is pretty much this so okay after that what we want to do right now is essentially go to the where is it guys um if you go to service script service we want to now go to the round um i don't know what why is that popping out like that guys i've got no idea to be honest um uh, this is quite weird okay th there we go um right i didn't mean to drag out the map generator one um round manager here we go um actually generate rounds it was yeah i don't i don't know why this is popping out over here that's a bit weird anyway okay so here we are on the generate rounds thing so pretty much guys what we want to do here is never mind we've already um we've already done the can click stuff which is actually quite useful so guys we are now going to move on to into the next stuff right now Never mind, guys, we actually do need to go to the round manager one. I thought I had this all done. But essentially, guys, what we need to do here is pretty much this, guys. We are going to do if um, can click dot value is equal equal to true. Not Sorry, not true number. True. Then um, what we are going to do, guys, let me quickly also, I don't really think we've got this variable yet. So, guys, in the round manager one, go ahead and do local um, time to click is equal to replicate the storage wait for child time to click then guys we want to do time um time to click and we're going to fire all clients and we're going to put true in here next guys we are going to do can um can click dot changed and then we're going to do connect function after that guys we're going to enter down and we're going to do if can click dot value is equal equal to true then we will do time to click and fire all clients and then we're gonna put true um that is not how you spell true up there true there we go anyway next we're just gonna do else if can click dot value is equal equal to false then we will go ahead and fire all clients and put false let me quickly copy and paste that in instead of true there we go guys we're gonna put false okay so pretty much guys now what's gonna happen um every like 10 seconds we are gonna have our tool equipped so pretty much guys you kind of force equipped our tool um 
to to equip to our avatar in this time over here so as you can see our tools are created right now but it's making our hand come out which is not really what we want over here so how do we go ahead and stop this well pretty much guys what we want to do is disable this animation i'm going to be showing you guys how to do this right now what you're going to want to do over here guys is play the game once you guys do this what you need to do right now is inside of the character guys one second yeah you'll now see animate you'll see this animate script i tell you what guys i'm not really used to um used to this new like roblox stuff um roblox ui and stuff anyway guys we'll see the, what this is all about later on but anyway guys so brilliant um let's go ahead and copy copy this animated script right now guys and stop the game next what we want to go ahead and do over here guys is just paste this back into the game and drag this into starter character script next guys open this up what you guys need to do right now is pretty much open the animate and you want to go ahead and go down to around this line over here as you can see we have um tool none and what you guys are gonna want to do over here guys is pretty much delete this line just delete it out of the game um does that work guys one second uh let's see it should just work if we do that guys yeah just delete that out and then guys i think we should be fine so let's try this out again guys hopefully this is gonna work right now um okay let's have a little look right now guys um and let's see if this is successfully working so three two one it should now not hold out our arm but our tool's still gonna equip and never mind guys right attempt to index no with okay so pretty much guys what we want to do as well sorry guys we also want to scroll down we want to scroll down to about lines 643 so guys are gonna have to scroll down a little bit too far well a little bit far over here guys and you'll find one second six four three um here we go so as you'll see we have like this animate tool function guys so pretty much what we want to do over here is go ahead and just delete i guess all these um well one second guys tool anim and then yeah where it says none over here guys um we want to go ahead and just delete this i guess just delete that out there we go and now guys this should be good to go i think now it should hopefully work let's have a little go right now guys four three two one please work this time here we go should work there we go guys that's work but our tools are also equipped at the same time anyway guys right it had a um we had a bit of an error last time with it saying like unequip all tools yeah unequip tools over here guys let me quickly test this out right now okay so pretty much what we want to go ahead and do here guys is um un if i spot this right guys i don't know yeah okay apparently i've just spelled unequip wrong so just make sure guys that you do spell unequip co correctly right over there guys and this is going to work so this is now going to equip and unequip our tool which is quite nice over here guys um so yeah we have that we have that feature um right now guys going strong so pretty much guys what we want to do next is set this up so um when we click this it increases our speed temporarily um and then of course reset honestly guys i really should just put some barriers there but then of course reset um after after the game kind of refreshes if you guys kind of get what i mean so pretty much guys i think we will go ahead and save that guys for an extra video as this was kind of all about the the, the setting up of the tool guys we'll, 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 we'll um start on the speed management thing next video guys of course it's gonna kind of take a little while guys the speed stuff because there's a lot of things to take in mind but yeah guys that's in fact gonna be it for this video here guys subscribe to the channel i may even um drop this newer um the, the, this newer uh video quicker guys so make sure you do go ahead and subscribe and also guys remember join my patreon if you guys are having any issues but yeah guys that's in fact gonna be it for this video here i hope you all did enjoy this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe to show some support and peace out